Hi, my name is Chris Herbst. I'm the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships at Eaton, a global power management company. And we recently were selected for award by the U.S. Department of Energy to develop electric vehicle charging infrastructure to charge large numbers of cars and trucks that are electrified very quickly. With the idea being that say 10 years from now, many of our vehicles will be electric and we need a way to quickly charge them and basically to replace gas stations that exist today. So we're here at a gas station, which we all use to fill up our cars with gas. These gas stations will disappear in the future and will be replaced by electric vehicle charging stations. So the goal of our new Department of Energy program is to create the electrical equipment and electrical infrastructure that will replace all of these gas stations and allow us to fill up all of our electric vehicles of the future very quickly and efficiently. So in August of 2021, President Biden issued an executive order declaring that he wanted 50% electric vehicles by 2030. And while that helps vehicle manufacturers, the issue remains that there's no real way to charge all these electric vehicles. So today the way it's done to charge electric vehicles is you can plug them into your home or there are companies like this one, ChargePoint, that have set up individual charging stations at various locations. The problem with that is really what you can see. There's one charging station here. It's actually in a parking lot at CU Boulder Law School. But what we really need are large numbers of charging stations, you know, all together, just like we have at a gas station. So in this parking lot, the electric vehicle charger here, you know, you can see what the problem is. There's, a, there's an electric vehicle and there's a single charger and a single parking space. So in the future, what if all of these vehicles were electric? There would be no way to charge all of them as all these people are at work or at school. So the wells that you see behind me are pumping natural gas out of the earth through fracking. In the future, when we transition to uh, clean renewable energy, you know, hopefully those wells may go away or at least they'll be greatly reduced. So right now our goals for the future in renewable energy are transitioning in different states to say 50 to 80 percent renewables and we're retiring this different sorts of fossil fuel plants and instead transitioning to large-scale photovoltaic or large-scale wind turbines or hydroelectric power. And that kind of power is what will power the electric vehicles of the future, which will then be coupled with the charging stations that Eaton is developing to power up all of your electric vehicles that you buy in the coming years.